This video is going to be a detailed review of the Rock Bros frame bag. If you didn't know, Rock Bros is a company that sells mostly, I suppose, on Amazon.com and sells inexpensive bicycle accessories. This was around $29 and its capacity is 1.5 liters. It's obviously a fabric frame bag and has two compartments. A large compartment right here that's just open. And by the way, it comes also with this little... Uh, plastic insert that I think is designed to give the floor of the bag some rigidity. That simply slips in there like that. It's not affixed in any way. And the other side of the bag has another compartment that's very thin. It's basically more of a pocket. As you can see, you could put maybe a credit card or some small papers in there. I was surprised that it didn't real. I couldn't really find any detailed information about the dimensions on the product website, but I did. It did say something uh, about the size of your frame, which I found to be rather correct. But what you really probably want to know is the actual size, so you could measure your frame to see if it's actually going to fit. So here is the actual size. We're at about 17 inches, maybe 16 and 16 and 7 eighths. Or in metric, you're at about 426 millimeters in length, which is probably the most critical dimension. But if you're curious about the height, you're at about three and a half inches or just over 90 millimeters. Width, right at two and a quarter or about just under 60 millimeters. And by the way, they do say this frame, this frame bag is water resistant or waterproof. I haven't tested that myself. I haven't really used it yet. I did attach it to my bike, but I haven't actually rode with it yet. Now these here do come out and in. You can slide this, uh, this strap out just like that. Slide it back in. And you can use as many of these or as few of these, I suppose, as, as you want. Uh, there's also, so you have three on the top. You have one here on the bottom, which has three different positions that you can locate it, and then one on the back. So quite a few, uh, you know, mounting options in terms of the straps. Also, I should mention there's a little port that you could plug in um, anything you want, you know, probably mostly used for if you have a battery in here and then you want to power your head unit or something like that. But anyway, a wire access point is there. Of course, it goes to nothing on the inside. That's where your, your wire would run. Okay. So that's the bag. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my frame and let's see how long it takes. Before we attach it though, let's actually check the weight. It's a little hard to get it. Okay. Let's take that out. Okay. You're looking at about 155 grams. And by the way, you could put, put this on the inside of your frame, which I think is the, probably the best place to put it. Um, potentially you could place it on your, your down tube like that, maybe, although this wouldn't attach. Maybe you could detach it like that. Um, I think I saw some other uh, reviewers also use it as a top tube, but I think that's a little little strange and actually you probably want to do it like that so that you could use this strap on your on your stem but for mine my stem is too low so I don't even think that would work too well um, I think probably the best place to place it is is the way it's probably intended which is which is right on your top tube like that I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the mount to my top tube like so and I'll start with this front one now what I found to do, because these are actually quite a bit too long, obviously to accommodate different size top tubes, is I found I could wrap this under itself. See it coming through here as far as I can. Like that, it's kind of tunneling through. And then I'm taking this one and applying it down like that because I want I want this to kind of face down. 
Okay. That took me a, you know, a little bit of time to figure out kind of how I wanted it, but I think that's a pretty good way. And I'll do the same for all three of these top ones. I kind of wrap it around, put some pressure on it, and then start laying this top strap down. One thing to warn you is that it is possible with this type of uh, strap system, it could be possible to scratch your paint. So just be cautious about that. Um, I'm not going to use mine all the time, so I'm hoping that that'll save me. But if you, if you use this all the time and then dirt gets, especially if you're riding a lot and dirt starts getting under here and it's moving, I could definitely see it scratching the paint. I'm only using this for one particular event and then it's not going to be on this bike anymore. Okay, and the same thing with the bottom, I'm kind of pre-looping that like that. And I want this to be more down, so I'm going to try to rotate it. Well, it's not rotating too well. Let me, let me take that back off. Um, I want to bring it this way a little more. You may have to play with your, uh, your Velcro straps a little bit to get them how you want there. Now I have it kind of out of the way, the seam. And then finally the same thing on the back. Probably in terms of the direction of these, most important is going to be your, your top one. There we go. Okay. Now it's installed. It's, you know, pretty sturdy. Feels, feels good and sturdy. Um, let me demonstrate a couple things that you can put into it. For me, I have this little Ziploc bag, which contains um, the tire and maintenance, not maintenance, but fix type of things. Like I have two CO2s, a multi-tool, the CO2 adapter, some levers. I'll go ahead and put that in for sure. I'm gonna place that towards the back. Uh, here's another thing, uh, some band-aids and some little few, few first aid things. I'll slide those behind that. Well, actually, I don't have any more supplies to show right now. I don't have my uh, nutrition or anything ready, but basically that's the way it works. Nice thing to note is you can zip and unzip it, assuming it's mounted securely without touching it or anything, just like that. I'll head around to the other side to show you what that looks like too. Here's the other side of the frame bag for your smaller, maybe paper items. Pretty nice. Overall, I think I'm happy with the uh, frame bag. I'll let you know after I do some usage with it. I'll probably put some uh, comments down there so you can get an idea if I have any issues or if it's working just fine. Next week I have uh, a pretty big ride I'm gonna do and it's gonna come along with me. So hopefully it works out. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions or leave any comments if you'd like. So thank you, bye.